to heavy metal models. You know, Acme Diecast does more than just manufacture cars. They also act as a pipeline into the United States for a lot of brands that a lot of collectors might otherwise not ever get to see. That's really kind of cool. So what they've done is send a bunch of samples from some of the different lines that they rep these days, and we're going to be taking a look at them over the next few days. Now, one of those lines is a really fine company from the Netherlands called Matrix Models. Now, if you're a resin collector, you might already know about this brand. If you're not, I'm pretty excited to show it to you because they do some really nice work that's very high detail and at a really reasonable price. Now, today we're going to take a look at a 1973 Dodge Coronet police car, Monterey Sheriff's Department. I was kind of blown away by this thing. Take a look. Matrix Models has an apparent desire to get things as detailed as they can in this scale. And after spending a few minutes with this 1973 Dodge Coronet, I have to say that it's a desire I can really get behind. This thing rocks, and I keep finding new things to look at every time I see it. The shape and ride height are exact, and the dog dish hubcaps are set onto slotted steel wheels with neatly treaded black wall rubber. The casting above those wheels has been painted up flawlessly and then clear coated. Now that's remarkable because the car's engraved lines are all clean and clear, not a sign of paint bunching up anywhere. The glazing is butyrate, it's tinted up front, and it's distortion free and laid in beautifully with photo etched frames and hot press chrome on the drip rails. The grill is a little oversized, but it's a see-through photo wedged piece that's been placed in front of a set of red pursuit lights, and that's really cool. The headlights on either side, as well as the wigwag lights on the A pillars, the side marker lights, and the tail lights have all been done with bezels, lenses, and get this, chrome trim, some of it as thin as a human hair. More lights are set onto the package shelf in the car's full-on interior, and it features a pair of fleet issue bench seats, a full dash and gauges, door panel detailing, and even a perp cage that runs from the floor to the ceiling behind the front seat. Look again and there's a radio under the dash and a mic. That's pretty sweet. Matrix has used more photo wedge for the door handles, the directional indicators on the fender tops, and even the lock cylinders. Beneath the model, a moderately detailed chassis gives a great profile, and it's got a set of resonators and downspouts out back. From the sealed on sheriff stars and signs to the outstanding license plates, this is one arresting ride. I like this company a lot. I had a chance to check out their site from over in the Netherlands and some of the models that they're doing are way out there as far as American collectors are concerned. What Acme seems to have done is pick some of the more American centered type of collectibles that they're going to be bringing over and that's way cool. Some of these cars are just really neat and this model was put together so nicely. I was really impressed by just the cleanliness of the thing. There wasn't anything wrong anywhere. Wherever part was placed, it was placed immaculately and that counts for an awful lot. I want to give this model four Henrys. It's a really solid piece. It's a heavy resin that I think anybody who saw it would appreciate. Hey, if there's a model you want to see here on Heavy Metal Models, reach out to me right there on the Facebook page or drop me a comment right on the YouTube channel. As you can see, I will get back to you and I'll do everything I can to get the models you want to see right here on the show. So in the meantime, thanks for coming down. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care.